uh, yeah so good afternoon good afternoon all and welcome to the another lecture of uh, 8085 and in which we were continuing to study say uh, the interfacing unit of it and uh, today we are going to uh, commence with the same topic uh, so yeah we are we are going to continue with the same topic that is uh, programmable peripheral interface 8255 ic and today uh, i guess we are going to study about more about 8255 in which we will be uh, studying the importance of say the control world and in how many modes we are we are able to operate 8255 let's see how much uh, we can complete today so let us begin with that let me share my screen uh, yesterday we have uh, studied and you might be recalling those things yesterday we have studied the uh, 8255 starting with this uh, yeah sure so i guess it is visible to you all and the screen is visible to you so we were studying this 8255 that is programmable peripheral interface and uh, in that what we have completed was uh, the block diagram of it so this was the study and architecture of programming of ic uh, 8255 and yeah so these were some of the ICs uh, 8255 that is PPI programmable peripheral interface 8259 PIC and then we are having USR 8251 uh, 8279 keyboard display controller and 8254 that is timer and counter unit then we are having again uh, the interfacing of 8085 AD and DA converter this is what we have uh, studied yesterday and uh, yeah uh, we have also completed how we are going to uh, that is the block diagram of 8255 uh, yeah so mm, yeah so this was the basic block diagram of 8255 uh, and in which I have, uh, I was pleased to tell you that 8255 consists of uh, three ports, port A, port B, and port C, in which port C can be used in two ways, four, four bits, that is for port C upper, which, which uh, lands in the group A, and port C lower, which lands in group B. So we are having three uh, ports, port A, port B, and port C. And of course, they are going to be uh, programmed according to the requirement of our, uh, according to the requirement of, um, of of the programmer. So we can use it for input, uh, inputting and outputting the data. So this is the control group A control, and this is this group B control. This is read write control logic, and this is this is the data bus buffer that we are having. So this is for communicating with 8085 on the left hand side this is bi-directional data bus and on the right hand side if you are able to see my cursor on the screen so this is how input output and these bits are pa0 to pa7 or pa7 to pa0 and again this is input output input oblique output means this can be used as an input port and output port also so pc7 to pc4 pc3 to pc0 lands in group b and this is the smallest one uh, the the below one is uh, group b that is port b and this is read write control logic which is controlled by 8085 this is read bar write bar a1 a0 and reset a1 a0 uh, we have will be describing it so a1 a0 is there then yeah uh, uh, so yes not working i guess so this is interfacing with 8085 now uh, this shows how 8085 is going to communicate with this 8255 this is actually the this block is 8255 over here and it is having three ports which are having three 8-bit buses coming out of it which can be interfaced which can be connected to the other circuits so these are port a this is port b this is port c right and this is the data bus which is going to communicate with the 8255 and 8085 uh, yes of course then we'll have this as a control unit 
uh, which is uh, which is controlling the chip select of uh, which is going to control the chip select I, yeah so uh, 8255 this is going to select the 8255 ic so this is the interfacing of 8085 then uh, yeah this is the pin structure of ic ppi we have uh, earlier discussed this it has having 40 pins of four groups in which we have uh, divided these four groups into uh, data bus buffer read write control logic group a and group b controls and then we are having port a b and c so data bus buffer it is uh, this is a tri-state bi-directional buffer used to interface the 8255 to system data bus data uh, is transmitted or received by the buffer on execution of input and output uh, instructions by the cpu control word and status information are also transferred through this unit so control word actually is uh, uh which yeah so actually which controls this is called as uh, the control word which is going to derive which port we are going to use as an input port and which port we are going to use as an output port then uh, read write control logic yes of course uh, read write control logic is having read bar and write bar which implies that they are active low so this is the another uh, group or another group of that so this is chip select read low write low we have uh, discussed this earlier uh, a0 and a1 these are address pins and these pins in conjunction with read and write pins control the selection of one of the three ports so we, what we are going to do with those ports is being uh, is being controlled by this a0 and a1 uh, then we have further studied about group a and group b controls we have already done this so group a consists of uh, the port a and the port c upper that is p7 pc7 to pc4 so these are in all 12 pins which are being controlled by the group a control logic right and this is group b that is having pcl in a low lower bits of uh, port c and port b together so pc3 to pc0 group b and control word register can only be written into the uh, into uh, no read operation of the control word register is allowed so control word register can only be written so we can read that control word for that for in that case because it is only going to mention uh, which port you are selecting as an input port and output port so this is there this is what we have already studied and these are the ports so we are having three ports port a port b and port c so port a this has an 8 bit latched uh, buffered output and 8 bit input latch it can be programmed in three modes so remember this this modes we are going to study to today so mode 0 mode 1 and mode 2 are the three modes in which port a can be programmed similarly port b this has an 8 bit latch buffer same and it it only works in two modes that is mode 0 and mode 1 so port a can be programmed in three modes mode 0 mode 1 and mode 2 whereas port b can be programmed in mode 0 and mode 1 only then we are having port c this is again having a 8 bit latched input buffer and 8 bit output latch buffer this port can be divided into two 4 bit ports and can be used as control signals of port a and port b it can be it can only be programmed in mod 0 now what is mod 0 and mod 1 mod 2 that is what we are going to study uh yeah this is this was all about uh what we have studied in the last class today we are going to see what what are the modes uh what are modes of operation of 8255 so there are basically three modes of operation mode 0 mode 1 and mode 2 these two basic modes of operation uh, are input output mode and bit set reset mode so these two modes and then accompanying uh, with those modes so these are there in input output mode the 8255 ports work as programmable input output ports right while in bit set, uh, set reset mode only port c pc0 to pc7 can be used to set or reset its individual port bits 
just uh, listen it very carefully what i am mean to say there are two modes in in these two basic modes these are two basic modes and we'll be studying mode 0 mode 1 mode 2 also basic modes are these two one is called as input output mode and the other one is bit set reset mode bsr mode right in input output mode what happens the 8255 ports work as a programmable input output ports right so we can program those input output ports whether it is input or whether it is output that can be programmed while in bit set reset mode only the port c that is pc0 that is from bits pc0 to pc7 can be used to set or reset its individual port bits right so we can set or reset the individual port uh, port bits of port c only so we are having two basic modes of operation the one is called as input output mode and the other one is called as bsr mode that is bit set reset mode right so bit set reset mode only is going to be used to set or reset the uh, port c bits right and then under the input output mode of operation further they are there are three modes of operation of 8255 so as to support different types of application mode 0 mode 1 and mode 2 right so i guess it is clear to you all there, there are two basic modes of operation one is input output mode and bit set reset mode second one uh, the first one is only to program the input output ports bit set reset mode is only to set or reset the um, port c in which we can set reset individual ports one out one port at a time further this input output mode is divided into three modes again that is mode 0 mode 1 and mode 2 in which how we are going to use these ports output ports port a port b and port c that is what is to be de decided right so these are some modes of operation uh, of 8255 further these uh, yeah so bit set reset mode in this mode any of the eight bits of port c can be set or reset depending on uh, do of control word the bit to be set or reset is selected by the bit select flag that is d3 d2 and d1 of the control word register as given in the table so we are going to see that table like this so d3 d2 d1 uh, are the control word uh, uh, d1 of control word register right so if 0, 0, 0 is selected then the port c d0 bit is set or reset right and 0, 0, 001 d1 0, 1, 0, d2 0, 1, 1, d3 and so on so 100 0, 0, it will have that and up to seven bits you will having that ratio so this d3 d2 and d1 of control word register remember this we are going to see that 8 bit control word over there so as soon as we are going to see that you will come to know what uh, we are talking about so this is the control word register bits in d3 d2 d1 right so these are the, the bits which decides which port is to be uh, set or reset but uh, which is actually in bit set reset mode and we are talking about bit set reset mode, right we are not talking about the input output mode so this is there done mode zero yeah now we'll start with input output modes now mode zero how mode zero can be uh, used so mode zero consists of input output modes right and in mode zero that is the basic input output mode this mode is also called as the basic input output mode this mode provides simple input and output capabilities using each of the three ports so hum log kisi bhi teen ports ko apne hisab se program kar sakte data can be simply read from and written to the input and output ports respectively after appropriate initialization so that is how we are going to de uh, uh, declare it how we are going to use that so that is being decided by this mode 0 right so the mo mode 0 is the basic input output mode and uh, this mode provides simple input and output capabilities using each of the three ports data can be simply read from and written to the input so hum log read bhi kar sakte hai aur write bhi kar sakte hai simply 
पर उसको हमको इनिशियली प्रोग्राम करना पड़ेगा कि पोर्ट ए कैसा यूज कर रहे हैं पोर्ट बी कैसा यूज कर रहे हैं और पोर्ट सी कैसा यूज कर रहे हैं अकॉर्डिंगली ही वो काम करेगा राइट सो दिस इज द बेसिक मोड बेसिक इनपुट आउटपुट मोड दैट इज मोड जीरो वेर एज इन मोड वन आई गेस इट इज नॉट विजिबल टू यूर सो इन दैट या सो पोर्ट ए एंड बी आर प्रोग्राम एज इनपुट और आउटपुट पोर्ट पोर्ट सी इज यूज फॉर हैंड शेकिंग राइट तो उसके डेटा क्या लेना है इसके हिसाब से सो इफ यू आर एबल टू सी दिन ऑफ माइंड सो यूल बी यूल कम टू नो दैट हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दैट सो दिस इज पोर्ट ए दैट इज पी ए दिस इज पी सी थ्री पी सी फोर पी सी फाइव पी सी थ्री विच इज यूज फॉर स्ट्रॉब ए आई बी एफ ए and interrupt acknowledge then port b the same pc2 pc1 pc0 pc6 and pc7 are go going uh, in bi directional right so these are these are there so these pc means which we are going to use for hand shaking right so this is pc4 pc5 and pc3 port a is used as input port here port b is also used as input port whereas in the other part we are using port a as output port and port b as output port again it is used for hand shaking pc2 pc1 and pc0 so these three pins we are using for port a control and these three pins we are using it as for the hand shaking of port b right 6 7 can be used anyway for say uh, giving the data or inputting the data so these four uh, four and five pins 6 and 7 over here and four and five pins of pc4 can be used in as per our requirement so this is how we can do the interfacing so we are working basically on interfacing with 8085 to the out, outside world or outside circuit so yeah i guess it is uh, understood then yeah so these are some of the controls which uh, i guess it's not visible to you Slightly push this below, yeah, so that it is visible to you. I will do that. Yeah, I guess it will be visible now. So, uh, if you are able to see this, it's not going up. Uh, strobe. That is uh, the strobe input. Um, which is get is again not visible so i can put here ah now it might be visible to you so strobe that is strobe complement the strobe input loads in uh, loads uh, data into the port latch on 0 to 1 transition lbf that is in uh, sorry ibf that is input buffer full is an output indicating that the input latch contains information and interrupt interrupt request is an output that requests an interrupt so if if you remember that 8085 is having different types of interrupts interrupt a uh, rst 5.5 6.5 7.5 interrupt hai na so wo hai and this is inte that is interrupt enable signals this is neither an input nor an output it is an internal bit program via the ports pc4 port a or pc2 port b bits uh, pc7 to pc6 this port c pin 7 and 6 are general purpose input output pins they are available for any purpose i have shown you this uh, in the last uh, say that so if we go back yeah here we might are able to see this yeah so if you are able to see pc6 to pc7 here this can be used as either input or output like so these are the signals which we are uh, seeing now so this is what we have studied a strobe uh, complement so strobe input loads data into port latch on a 0 to 1 transition and input buffer full and other ones so these are the mode 1 that is port a and mode 1 port b 
so you are having these controls and these are the timing diagrams of that we won't go in depth of this just for say your understanding purpose how 8255 can be programmed and how port a port b and port c can be used for uh, different applications that is what we need to study over here these are in depth so these are some more signals which we have got gone through obf output buffer full and this is that uh, the timing diagram of port a and port b where again mode one we are using it as the output port a and port b is also used as output port uh, then coming to the next this is uh, how we are going to do the programming of that and port a is programmed to be bidirectional port c is for handshaking port b can be either input or output in mode 0 or mode 1 so here we are having that and this is how the diagram comes out to be so port a can be used as input output port port b can be used as a input output port 88 bit and then pc7 pc6 pc4 pc5 pc3 they are used as for different signals that is obf acknowledgement stop uh, ibf full and interrupt acknowledge so we are having this then yeah these are some more signals which are associated with 8255 when we use it we need this uh, so to be checked by the programmer for different use and yeah this was this is a very important portion that is that is what we were discussing and this is a control word how we are going to use that so if uh, you are able to see here we are having eight bits and we have talked about these three bits so d3 d2 and d1 we are having eight bits again d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 and d6 d7 so eight bits are there and depending on this structure we can use this group a and group b and uh, say yeah group b uh, includes pc lower so this pc lower can be selected by using one if it is one then it is input if it is zero then the pc lower is as works as an output pb so port b can be used as uh, input if we have one over here accordingly a code is generated and that particular code is called as control word right and this decides how we are going to use port a port b and port c the first bit that is z0 decides the port c lower bits lower four bit and if it is one this particular bit is one then the port c lower is used as input if it is zero then it is used as the output port b whether it is going to be used as uh, input or output that is to be decided by this bit that is d1 if it is one then port b is input if it is zero then it works as a output mode selection whether it is going to be zero or one so mode zero and mode one can be selected by uh, this bit that is port b uh, mode again these are three bits the other three bits are similar for the group a so the first one is pc upper means the port c upper four bit can be used as input and output port uh, if it is one then it is input if it is zero then it is output so these three bits and these three bits so port a can be used as input and output if it is one and output right zero for output mode for port a all the three modes work in that so we are having two bits that is d5 and d6 and they can be used in this fashion 00 mode 0 01 mode 1 and 10 mode 2 so only port a can be used in all the three modes right so for that we will requiring three, two bits that is d5 and d6 are going to uh, look after that particular select so 00 yeah 0 0 will give you mode 0 0 1 will give you mode 1 and 1 0 will give you mode 2 the last bit that is the d7 bit will set the flag so 1 as active and 0 as bit set reset mode so if it is 0 then it will go to the input output mode and if it is uh, if it is 1 then it will go to input output mode and if it is 0 then it will go to bit set reset mode i guess this is uh, the control word and this this plays a very important role in selecting 
which port you are going to use at in, as input port and which port you are going to use it as uh, the output port right uh, so we have to put that particular bits over there one zero and accordingly we will have a, a two bit hexadecimal code right and that hexadecimal code is to be output first then only we are able to use particular ports in that particular situation so i guess this is uh, enough for today and you have understood this is one of the example how you can use this 8255 uh, for scanning of 4x4 four four keyboard mat interface so in the next class i guess we are going to continue with this i will again repeat it for you and uh, you have understood if you have any questions uh, you can ask me right now or we can end the class or uh, i guess only two minutes are left for that so if you have any queries you can unmute the yourself and ask Okay, if there are no queries, we'll just uh, we complete it. So today we have studied this mode zero uh, operations, modes uh, modes of operation. Then we have these two modes are there, input output mode and bit set reset mode. Yes, then this is bit set reset mode. This is how it is being selected. And uh, mode zero, this is the basic mode that we are having mode one port a port b this is how the pin configuration looks like these are some of the signals and timing diagram these are other signals and timing diagram we are having and these are the other things that we can go through so yeah and this is the most important that is the control word that how to take port a port b port c upper and port c lower as input and output mode so i guess this is very important and this is how the first step to select which port you are going to do that so this is the end of today's class we'll uh, go through this again thank you thank you very much for listening and viewing this uh, i guess you have understood this if you have any issues kindly share with me on this i'm stopping the sharing and thank you see you soon good day and if you have any questions kindly uh, note wrote me on this whatsapp thank you thank you very much see you soon good day bye take care